Today I'm going to connect the OPZ to the organelle through USB, uh, which will give me con MIDI control from the OPZ to the organelle, which is nice because I like the sequencer on the OPZ. And I do enjoy some of the sounds and the presets and the flexibility uh, that you have with so many patches on the organelle. So let's get started. On the OPZ, I'm going to connect the USB cable into the organelle. And just so I can see what I'm going to what I'm doing on the screen here, I have the OPZ app running. I'm going to pair it. And now you don't need to pair it necessarily, but I want to make sure that I can uh, see all of my MIDI settings and make changes if I want to. So if you scroll here to MIDI setup, you can see um, basic stuff for each track. So just thinking ahead, um, I, I think I want to make track 8 the one MIDI track here that I'm going to sacrifice uh, from the OPZ to control um, sounds on the organelle. So I'll press track 8 here. And now you can see on the MIDI setup page here, um, track 8 is selected. I can change the MIDI channel that is being used for this track number. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna change. I'm gonna keep it as track eight. Okay. And then the uh, I have channel one to active track off. MIDI in enable. Actually, I don't want that. I don't want MIDI coming back from the organelle to the OPZ. I have MIDI out enable. Uh, clock in enable. I don't really want clock from the organelle to the OPZ, so I'm turning that off. Uh, MIDI clock out enable, yes, I do want the OPZ to send MIDI clock to the organelle. Alt program change, no, I'm going to leave that off, and MIDI echo, I'm going to leave that off. Uh, I'm not going to talk about all these MIDI CC assignments here uh, for today's tutorial, but I'll get into that another day. Okay. So, MIDI channel 8. Now we'll go to the organelle and we'll go into the, let's see, settings. And there's the MIDI setup. You press this down. It's going to open up MIDI setup. And then it has MIDI in. You can set that to enabled or disabled. You want it enabled. Uh, MIDI in channel. Uh, you can change it from Omni all the way up from 1 through 16. But I want this to specifically listen for MIDI channel 8 only. So that's selected. MIDI out is disabled, so the organelle should not be sending MIDI to the OPZ. And then MIDI out channel, I have this to 16 here. You have to choose a channel and I figured channel 16 is probably the least disruptive if this is going to send MIDI out uh, to the OPZ. I don't really have anything on track 16 that I'm concerned about. So that's kind of a, a safe bet um, in case it still manages to send MIDI back out to the OPZ. All right, and then MIDI device. If you look at it here, you can see the OPZ is showing up here, OPZ MIDI 1. There's no other option. Great. But it's nice it shows up. It means it's being detective, detected. And now, uh, save. So the MIDI configuration has been saved. Let's go home and let's go to choose a patch. Let's just try something basic. Additive synth. Great, now when I play keys here on the OPZ, you can hear them, you can hear the notes being played on the organelle.
let me just try a fresh track, a fresh project. Um, all right, so now for this channel, I'm just going to program in just one note. And then one more note. And then I'm going to let it repeat the three steps. Now let's listen. And let's slow this down. sequences pretty quickly and incorporate this into your list of sound tools to play from the OPC. I really like the simplicity of this connection. As I've mentioned in a previous video, this is just one USB cable that runs into the organelle and it's pretty seamlessly uh, able to integrate MIDI. But hopefully uh, these, hopefully this was helpful to you. And let me know in some comments if there's something else you want to see. I have some ideas for um, some other videos coming up. And I apologize that I haven't posted some other stuff recently. I just moved and had a hard drive failure. So now I'm going to be getting back into the, the regular video updates. So subscribe if you're into this kind of thing. And I will hopefully hear from you sometime.